Mersort is an example for divide and conquer technique. Here, uh, given an array, you have to divide into equal halves. First half of the array is copied onto B and second half onto C. Sort array B and C recursively. Next, merge sorted arrays B and C into array A. This is a pseudo code for uh, dividing the problem into equal halls. When n is greater than 1, then only you have to apply this merge sort. When n equal to 1, there is no need to call the merge sort algorithm because that itself is in sorted order. Now here, when n is greater than 1, copy first half of the array A onto B. So, n by 2, 0 to n by 2 minus 1 elements is to be copied onto B and next half of the array that is n by 2 to n minus 1 elements is to be copied onto C. Then apply this merge sort separately for subarray B and then for subarray C. These two arrays is to be merged to get sorted array A. Now we will see how this merge algorithm will work. Now B and C is to be merged to get sorted array A. B with P elements and C with Q elements. Then A will contain P plus Q elements. So the indices for B, C and A as follows. 0 to P minus 1, 0 to Q minus 1 and for A it is 0 to P plus Q minus 1. Now, when you are merging these two subarrays, either uh, array element B is to be copied if it is small or if C is small then array element C is to be copied. For that, you need to know the in indices where exactly or which element of the array is copied onto A. For that, use the indices I, J, K i for b, j for c and k for a. So all this initially equal to 0. Then compare the element of ith element of b with jth element of c. If this element of b is smaller, then copy that element of b onto a, increment i value. Otherwise, Copy the element of C onto A and increment the J value. In neither of these two cases, increment the K value. Now, so this is to be done till all the elements of the B is copied onto A or all the elements of the C is copied onto A. So now, uh, so perform this while loop, while I less than P and j less than q. If i value is equal to p, that means you have already copied all the elements of p onto a, only elements of c is remaining, copy that elements onto a, that is copy c j to q minus 1 to this array a. Similarly, if you are coming out of the loop with the condition j equal to q, then all the elements of C is already copied onto A. What is remaining is elements of P. You copy from I to P minus 1 all the elements onto A. This is merge algorithm. This I will show with example. This is called recursive tree call. This is done for 8 elements. Then this is divided into smaller subarray with 4 elements each. Then again further divided into 4 subproblems. Again these 4 subproblems is divided into 8 smaller subproblems. Now divide step is over. Now the next step is conquering step. That is you have to uh, merge smaller sub subarray to get the sorted list. For this compare 3 and 8 here. 
so three is smaller copy three first then eight like this you will get smaller subarrays now i'll explain how these two subarrays is merged uh, that merge algorithm is explained i'll explain this merge algorithm for these two subarrays <coughs> Now here, uh, B with elements 2, 3, 8, 9 and C with elements 1, 4, 5, 7. So I to 0, J to 0 and K to 0. So now co compare the first element of C with uh, B. This is smaller, copied on to A. Again, J gets incremented here. Now it's pointing to 4 now. 4 and 2 is compared, 2 is smaller, so 2 is copied, now i gets incremented here, 3 and 4 is compared now, 3 is copied now, now i is pointing to 8, 8 and 4, 4 is smaller, copied here, and 8 and 5, 5 is copied, next j gets incremented, 7 is smaller, it's copied here, now k will be pointing to this location, what remains is these two elements that means here all the elements of c is copied onto a the remaining elements of b is copied onto a from i to 4 that is i to p minus 1 so from k to p plus q minus 1 so this is how the merge algorithm will work now we'll see the analysis part of merge sort <coughs> In merge sort, actually uh, you are dividing the problem size into equal uh, halves. So to know how many comparisons is being made in order to sort n elements, you need to know how many comparisons is being made in array of size n by 2. Like that you have two sub problem plus in order to merge that smaller sub problem into sorted array you are calling the function merge in that merge you need to count how many comparisons is being made so for that this example i have taken this is an example for worst case these eight elements is to be merged if you want to merge these two uh, these two sublists you are required to perform seven comparisons so in the first case n minus 1 comparisons is being made so c merge of n is equal to n minus 1 when n is great, greater than 1 when n equal to 1 the merge sort function will not be called at all so number of comparisons is equal to 0 now solve this recurrence relation with that you will get the solution n log n to base 2 minus n minus 1 this belongs to theta of n log n to base 2 now we have solved uh, this recurrence relation by applying backward substitution the same problem can be uh, solved or you can uh, say to which efficiency class the algorithm belongs to by applying master's theorem so here a value is equal to 2 and b equal to 2 and um, n, fn is equal to n minus 1 this is equal to n power d so d is equal to 1 here approximately equal to 1 so this master theorem already i explained many times so second condition of the master theorem holds here because a equal to b power d now number of comparisons required in merge sort is equal to theta of n power d log n to base 2. Look at here. This is what the complexity in when second condition of the master theorem holds. In this or any recurrence relation can be solved by using master theorem or otherwise by solving uh, the recurrence relation by backward substitution both the method you can solve the recurrence relation in divide and conquer technique so it's left to you how you are solving either by backward substitution 
or by applying master theorem in case if you apply master theorem you need to write the master theorem first and then uh, find out what are a b and d values correctly and which condition of the master theorem holds after that you can conclude the complexity of the algorithm belongs to which efficiency class in this example since second condition of the master theorem that is a equal to b power d holds you can directly conclude efficiency of this algorithm belong to theta of n log n to base 2.